So for those of you who want an actual how-to as to how to get the proton tether or the grapple gun, whatever you want to call it, it requires an undiscovered element. So I'm going to show you exactly how to get it. First things first, you have to unlock your, your jet pack, so you have to be able to do a double jump. If you have the teleporters unlocked, you're going to go to the meteor crater, but I will show you how to get there from outside the javelin just in case you need that help. Ambient temperature 92 degrees. Bio Pay attention because I'm going to speed this up. And then you come through this little tunnel. You're basically just going to go straight. So you follow the path. You're going to jump to this little island. Double jump to the next island. Continuing as such. You're gonna have to kick these little guys towards that thing and it'll grind them up and open the path. Let's see, you come out here, stay to the right. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to kick more of the puffer birds. Here's another one. So there's three or four of those meat vortexes and then it opens up here, but just stay to the right. And then you'll follow this path up. Here's the, the teleporter that I mentioned earlier. So if you don't have it, there it is. It's really not hard to find. So if you walk from the javelin, just continue across in front of the teleporter, and then you're gonna come down this way. And you have to kind of stealth your way past this guy, but he's not that hard. You just have to wait for him to look away from where you are. And then he'll look back. And run past him. You can poke him in the back and poke him in the eye to take him down. So you come into this lava cave, and you're just gonna jump across all this stuff. So the weird thing is this, is that as you come into this cavern through that main lava area, it kind of makes it look like the obvious way to go is gonna be this way. But there's really not much in that way. So if you come more to the right, it doesn't, I don't think it really matters which way. Oh, I went the wrong way. It's just a, there's a deposit right there, is all. So it's really the middle path, sorry. You take the middle path, and then you actually take the right path, because the left path goes back to that first lava room. So it's just kinda, it's a little bit confusing. And so where we're gonna be headed is actually just straight across. You can kinda see there's an opening there. But if you haven't done this yet, you're going to see a wall that needs to be blown up with bomber granites. So, so go ahead and jump in. Any platform that has these bomber granite plants isn't going to sink. So that's a safe place to be. The easiest way to do the bomber granite thing... Uh, I mean, it's, it's just really not that hard. The way I did it, because it kind of keeps you away from the little enemies that go flying across the room is just grab one and then come jump over here and just quickly chuck it over by that opening. I was a little to the right, but you get the idea. So, we'll jump back across, just make your way, just be patient. So there we've made our way through where that door is and then you're just gonna come, you're gonna jump, jump, jump. And here it is. We'll jam the drill into the element, suck it of all of its elementous deliciousness. I don't even know what I'm talking about. And then you just, just gotta run back. So this brings you back into the main room. You can see the way out right over there. Oh, what a jerk. And we're just gonna go to that teleporter and go back to the ship. And we're back. 
Uh, okay, I think it's under gear. Ta-da! See, now we have the... We have the element we need. Hey, congratulations! You now have the proton tether, which means you can do this. Super handy. Not too hard to get, but the cave is a tiny bit confusing, but it's not very big. It's just a little confusing. Anyway, there you go. I hope that was helpful. If it was, give the video a like. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I'll see you next time.